Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. The Dyson OmniGlide is a lightweight cleaner designed for cleaning hard surface floors. How well does it clean? Let's go ahead and find out now. The Dyson OmniGlide is designed quite a bit differently relative to Dyson's other vacuum cleaners. First of all, it's exclusively designed to clean indoor hard surface floors like hardwoods, vinyl, laminates, and tile. The motor speed is up to 105,000 RPM, which in most cases is more than enough power for cleaning hard surface floors. It has two cleaning modes, regular and max. Modes can be changed with a button on the handle. The OmniLite is smaller and lighter than Dyson's V-series cordless vacuums. It measures 42.4 inches long. The cleaner head is 8.1 inches wide, and the handle is 3.6 inches tall. The weight is 4.18 pounds. It has a small dustbin capacity of 0.8 cups. The OmniGlide has a delightfully compact form factor. The overall size and weight, combined with the dual rotating soft brush rolls, allow the OmniGlide to easily slide on the floor in any direction. In many ways, the small size and light weight are positive attributes. However, tall users may find it a bit too short. I'm six foot one inches, and it's right at the borderline of what's comfortable. I personally found the length fine, but I could see users who are taller, let's say six foot three and beyond, as being more likely to say that it's too short. The Dyson OmniGlide comes with one cleaning head and one attachment tool. The tool is a combination crevice tool and dusting brush. The OmniGlide also includes a charging cradle. At Modern Castle, we test vacuum cleaners against four different debris types. We typically test on three different floor types, but since the OmniGlide is designed only for hard surface flooring, we limited our tests to hard surfaces only. Overall, the OmniGlide was fantastic at cleaning hard surface floors. It captured 100% of all debris we tested. The omnidirectional cleaning head has 360 degrees of rotation, which allows you to clean in any direction. The dual spinning fluffy brush rolls help the cleaning head glide easily and clean close to edges and baseboards. On our tests, the OmniGlide did exactly what it was designed to do. On hardwood floors, it easily and quickly cleaned up 100% of all debris without issues. We were wondering if it would struggle with the largest debris type cereal, given the relatively small dustbin and extension wand. However, it didn't struggle to clean cereal at all. This 100% score is impressive and rare. Only a handful of vacuums have achieved this score of all the vacuums we've tested to date. We put the Dyson OmniGlide through our standard runtime test. We fully charged the battery, then turned the vacuum on until the battery died. The estimated runtime from Dyson is 20 minutes. Our results showed the battery lasting a little longer than that. In addition, we took decibel level measurements for the OmniGlide. On normal power, it measured 71 decibels, and on max power, it measured 75 decibels. Here's what the OmniGlide sounds like. The Dyson OmniGlide can be used as a full-size cordless stick or a portable handheld. It's easy to remove the cleaning wand and connect the attachment tool. The tool can also be connected to the wand for an extra long reach. One factor that will affect usability is the small dustbin capacity. Depending on the amount and size of debris, users may need to empty the dustbin more often while cleaning. The runtime is shorter than many other cordless vacuums, however, that is primarily due to the diminutive size of the OmniGlide. With such a small overall form factor, it utilizes a compact battery that slips into the handle itself. According to Dyson, users will be able to purchase an additional battery in the future. Check the link in the description if you're interested in buying the OmniGlide. Maneuverability on the OmniGlide is excellent. As a stick vacuum, it really does glide across the floor with ease. You can change direction without lifting the cleaning head. As a handheld, it's longer than other two-in-one vacs. Some users may find it unwieldy, but it does add extra reach. For cleaning with the crevice tool and dusting brush, I think the extra reach will be a nice factor for many users. The OmniGlide cleaner head has spinning soft brushes on both sides of the head, so it cleans move forward and backward. The pivot joint allows for 360 degrees of rotation, so we can clean in any direction. Maintenance on the OmniGlide is pretty simple. Users will need to regularly empty the dustbin, charge a battery, wash the filter, and wash the cleaning head. To empty the dustbin, remove the wand, point it into the trash, press the button, and let the debris fall out into the trash. The dustbin itself is also washable. To charge the OmniGlide, the entire body can be placed onto the cradle. The battery can also be removed and charged separately. The soft roller brushes can be removed from the cleaning head. To clean the roller brushes, wash them with cool water and let them dry for 24 hours before returning to the vacuum. The filter is also washable. Like the rollers, users can wash the filter with cool water and let it dry before reinstalling. 
Suggested cleaning frequency for the filter is about once a month. If you like this video, please get subscribed. You'll get automatic updates from YouTube when we release new videos. It's a big help to our channel and it's totally free. So should you buy the Dyson OmniGlide? The OmniGlide is a specialized vacuum exclusively designed for hard floors. It's more compact and lightweight than Dyson's V-Series vacuums. On our hardwood floor cleaning tests, the OmniGlide scored an impressive 100% debris removal rate. The dual soft rollers can clean any debris size with ease. The maneuverability is another highlight. The 360 degree pivot joint and dual brush rolls allow the OmniGlide to clean front to back and side to side without lifting it off the floor. Downsides are the small dustbin capacity and relatively short runtime. However, both of these factors keep the size and weight lower, making it more portable. And maintenance tasks like emptying the dustbin and charging battery are quick and easy. The price of the OmniGlide is rather high for such a specialized product. Because it doesn't clean carpets, users will likely need another vacuum to clean the rest of the home. But the focused approach does have its advantages, and the OmniGlide does an excellent job on its specialized task of cleaning hard floors. If you're looking for a lightweight unit for cleaning hard floors that doesn't take up a lot of space and is easy to care for, the OmniLite is an excellent fit. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. Do you have a Dyson at home? We'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments. Check the link in the description if you're interested in buying the OmniGlide. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at ModernCastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.